this video is regarding the issue that I faced after the migration well I was using this tool which is uh, which is a block level based replication tool and after migration it was like all well and good for almost more than 100 servers but few of them uh, got a different drive letter instead of D just to get familiar with the situation let me show you here what I mean by that let's suppose this is on premises uh, I'm trying to imitate the scenario trying to explain you guys the scenario that I faced and this is Azure okay in on premises we had lot many machines but that's not the problem so I'm just giving you a simple thing just to make you understand let's suppose we have two machines here or we have so many just like it okay and I was using migration tool and all the machines were happy and migrated perfectly fine without an issue but there were few machines where the drive letter was not as it's supposed to be okay let's write it down replicated via lock level based replication tool okay so what happened it goes to here in Azure just like that and this goes here just like that similarly all the hundred or more than 100 machines goes just like that it's not this video is not about the migration it's about the issue that I faced after the migration uh, okay so this is the situation now out of hundreds of machine there was a machine where we got one more drive known as E drive instead of D what I meant this D drive here you can see is the data drive on the on-premises but once it moved to the Azure this data drive become the E and this D drive is the temporary storage we all know when we create VM in Windows Azure Azure provides the temporary storage automatically and this temporary storage is D drive always on a Windows VM and there is a temporary storage on Linux as well so uh, this temporary storage is for a paging file for sure and what's the paging file it is also known as swap file and Windows uses this page file to store data that can't be held by your computer's RAM or random access memory when it fills up okay so uh, we all know temporary storage is not made to store data that is really critical but you can use it if you have no issue losing it so the temporary storage uh, is actually present on the physical physical machine that is hosting your VM your VM can move to a different host at any point in time due to various reasons when this happens your VM will be recreated on the new host using the OS disk from your storage account okay so I hope you got the situation it's a drive letter so there is the Azure VM I have right here this is the drive letter and this is the E drive where we have data and this is supposed to be the D drive so how can you tackle the situation well it is uh, very simple not so uh, biggie but you should know how to do it so if you try to change it from the disk management just like that temporary storage right click change the drive letter change it to let's suppose O. You click OK continue yes it says parameter is invalid that's not the right approach so what you need to do you need to move the page file 
temporarily on the C drive, then change the letter and move it back to the temporary storage. Few steps involved. Let me show you how. So you need to go to the advanced settings, go to your system, right click properties, and come on, why are you so slow? Okay, advanced system settings, and under performance, you have settings. Click here, and under advanced, we have virtual memory, you gotta change it. Now, C drive, we want C drive to manage page file temporarily, so we'll set this. And on D drive, we want no paging file. Set this. Okay, the only caveat is it requires restart. So you need to restart your computer twice once you change it again and right now. So in production environment, it's not cool, but we have to. All right, so I'll be back once the system is up. All right, so system is back up. It's restarting, getting all things up. And now we'll go ahead and change the drive letter and hopefully we will not get that invalid parameter issue. And it would allow us to do it. Just give it a minute, it's still loading I think okay disk management let's go here okay so now we need to make this D drive to something else because we want to make E as D drive so let's change it make it O click OK yes we want to continue and voila there is no error now what we want we want to make this drive as the D drive. That's the whole purpose of doing all these changes. So D drive, okay, cool, no error, wonderful. Now the only thing that we need to do, we need to get back to the system properties and put the page file to the temporary storage as it should be so change it c drive no paging file click set yes do you want to continue of course and temporary storage system managed size set so we are cool now now one more reboot and everything would be okay click ok click ok and restart now. Well, that's all about it. Well, thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.